dog just blew in my ear. <laughs> oh my god, I hate that. <gasps> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing a fall slash Halloween inspired makeup look. So yeah, a little disclaimer. I am not a professional. I am not a makeup artist. I do this for fun. The way I do my makeup might not be the way that you do your makeup. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong, but I just do it for fun and this is basically how it turned out so yeah just a little disclaimer i'm not a makeup guru not a makeup artist without further ado if you would like to see how i achieved this makeup look then just keep on watching okay so i've kind of already started well i did my eyebrows already and i concealed and set them with a powder if you would like to see how i do my eyebrows i do have a tutorial already on my channel so i'll either leave that link down below or it might pop up on the screen somewhere. I'm gonna switch between like three palettes because I do have like a lot of fall colors. I'm gonna be using my Zodiac Kathleen Lights collection from ColourPop palette because it has this really, really nice shimmery orange color. And yes, my mirror is broken. And then I'm going to also use my Morphe 350 palette because this has literally all the most beautiful fall warm colors ever. And I really like this orange color right here and this one. So I'm going to be using my James Charles Morphe palette as well because this palette is just beautiful, so pigmented. Just like honestly, like look at those colors. So I think that's the main palettes that I'm going to be switching between. I honestly don't do my eyeshadow very often, so please be patient with me. I do like to do my eyeshadow first before I do the rest of my face just because in case I mess up. Because again, I am not a makeup guru. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not a professional here, so I do make a lot of mistakes. I do change my mind a lot, especially since I don't even know what I'm going to be doing today. I'm kind of just going with the flow, so yeah. Okay, so first I think I'm going to start with my Morphe 350 palette, and I'm just going to take, I think, this color right here just to put in the crease to start. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to take it on this um, fluffy brush. It's from Walmart. And I'm kind of just making this as messy as I want because again, I'm going to be cleaning it up later so I don't have to worry too much. Okay, so now I'm going to head into my James Charles palette and I'm just going to be using a little bit of the, almost the same color but a bit darker. So this one right here above this white color here and I'm going to be using the same brush and just putting that again in my crease. Okay, so now for the fun part, I'm going to be going into, again, the James Charles palette, and I'm going to be going into this very vibrant orange color. I'm a little bit nervous. I've never used anything that vibrant, so I'm going to try and, you know, go slow and at my own pace. Um, I know it's really pigmented, so I'm going to try and be careful, and I'm just going to be taking it on another, like, fluffy brush, kind of, but it's more, like, angled. I just realized I'm so stupid. I have to put concealer under my eyes, so I'm gonna have to redo that. 
Good job, Caitlin. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so next I'm going to be going into the Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to be using this beautiful burnt orange color. I'm so excited. This is my favorite color to wear for fall and I actually haven't worn it yet, so I'm really, really excited to be using it. If I don't say what brush I'm using, I'm probably using the same brush that I said before just because I have my favorite brushes and I literally use them all the time in rotation just because they're like my favorite brushes. So obviously I'm going to lean towards those ones more. So I'm putting it in my crease just a little bit below the other orange color and I'm dragging it onto my lid over here. So I'm gonna drag it in on both sides. And again, don't worry about making a mess. You're probably going to clean it up afterwards anyway, so it's fine. This is what I've done so far. I look like a crazy person but it's fine i actually really like the colors and how they blend really well together okay so next i'm going to be going into the james charles palette <laughs> and i think i'm going to use this really nice brownish color just to deepen the crease a little bit more And again, I'm bringing that color on the front and the side, but leaving the middle alone. So again, I'm going to be taking the fluffy brush that I used the first time and the same bright orange from the James Charles palette and I think I'm just going to go over here just a bit just to give it more of a brighter orangey look. And again, I'm just going to take this blending brush that has no product on it and blend in the eyeshadow. I feel like this is so difficult for me because I have small eyes, so I don't have a lot of eye lid to work with, but yeah, this is what it looks like so far. I'm sorry if this turns out disastrous, but I am doing my best. Okay, so next is going to be the scary part, and I'm going to attempt to do a halo eye cut crease. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. I'm just going to take a concealer and a just a regular flat brush, fiddle focus. <laughs> and kind of just carve out just the middle section of my eye and I like to do this with my eyes open just to see where exactly I need to do the cut So next I'm going to finally go into my Zodiac palette and I'm going to take this really really gorgeous orange sparkly color over here. It's called the Aries. I really hope it's not too dark for what I want to do. If it is, it's fine. We'll just add some color over it. I'm going to apply that where I put the concealer. I'm going to do that on a flat brush, so like this one. And it's always best to uh, wet your brush before just to get more pigment and when you want to do something like that on concealer. Okay, I'm just gonna switch brushes again to almost like the similar same brush but just a different one because I feel like that one's not picking up enough product and like applying it properly to my face so I'm just gonna switch brushes. I think I'm going to darken up the halo again obviously fix the concealer that I messed up so I'm gonna be using 
the Zodiac palette again and I'm going to go in with my favorite color which is the Virgo because I am a Virgo. It's only fitting to use my own dark brown color. Jeez, we really are going for a pumpkin spice latte look. Jeez. Lots of brown and orange. Okay, so just because I feel like the middle is not shimmery enough for me, I'm going to add some shimmers. So I'm going to go in with the James Charles palette again. And I think I'm going to be using this. I know this is, I think this is like a face color, but it's kind of like a goldish sparkly champagne color. So I'm going to be using this on the same place where I had my concealer just to brighten it up a little bit. And I'm actually going to try it on this like sponge thing. Alright, so this is what we're looking like so far. I think I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and come back to it because it's, it's kind of um, pissing me off, to be honest. Um, because it looks weird, obviously, because I don't have the rest of my face and I don't have my lashes on. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. I basically just do the same makeup all the time. If you want to see how I do my makeup in depth, there are like two different videos on my channel already on how I do my everyday makeup makeup so go ahead and check those out as well if you'd like so i'm just gonna go ahead speed through that and um i'll be right back All right, so most of my face is done. I just have to add a lipstick, but I'm going to continue with my eyes. So as you can see, I fixed them. I cleaned it. They're nice and sharp and clean. I think next I'm just going to do the bottom, like underneath. So I think I'm going to go again with the James Charles palette. And I'm going to go again with that vibrant orange. Basically, I'm going to use everything that I kind of used on my eyes under the eye area if that makes any sense at all so i'm gonna start with the bright orange color and now i'm going to be going back into my morphe palette and using the same burnt orange with the same brush and doing the same thing under the eyes but I'm only dragging it to about the middle because I want to leave the front to be more light. So that is what that's looking like so far. I think I'm just going to pop on 
some eyelashes and then I will be right back to add some lipstick okay so now that lashes are on it's time for lipstick so I'm gonna go in with my favorite fall lipstick and it's the mocha licious lipstick from wet and wild they are very affordable lipsticks and they're really good at lipsticks so yeah it's just this dark mocha color Alright guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and go ahead and follow me on all of my social media if you want to see some more fall Halloween content. It's my favorite time of year. I really hope everyone is staying safe, happy, and healthy. I will hopefully see you in my next video. Okay, bye!